What is going on, everybody? It is Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, returning to BeamNG for a little bit more Monster Truck Mayhem in the style of Monster Jam here, taking it back to about 2008 here in Houston at Reliance Stadium, home of the Houston Texans, who I'm not even going to make fun of. That's just not even a fair fight, but I will make fun of the Astros who play around here somewhere. Hell, you can probably hear them banging on the trash cans from here if you listen close enough. You can hear them over that Monster Truck engine we are going to give a little bit of something to the texans out there watching we're going to start this show off with the hometown hero king crunch is going to go crunch up the track first and he's the first of 14 trucks that we have lined up here today for a little hybrid style show we're going to do some with the external cameras and some of me just playing the game kind of old school style so let's get to it all right let's get this kicked off right with king crunch heading out first for the home show, we'll keep it simple as we start with a little sky wheelie over the cars, actually, and then a combo slab wheelie out of it. Not too bad. All while I'm doing that with one hand, basically, because I'm hitting the start timer button on my phone and still lighting it up for the stacks, ladies and gentlemen. Who else could do this? Literally anybody who tries. But we got the sky wheelies on lock. That's what matters. We got a wheelie machine. And hopefully, if I'm any good at editing, I'll have slipped a pretty nifty looking clock somewhere on screen for you to see our time evaporate before our very eyes as I'm going over the pyramids with power. I'm gonna drop some more on this. Whoa, that might be too much spying check on the back tailgate there. We, we got a real powerful message on the tailgate here too. We sure won't tailgate. We sure will not. We're gonna not forget about this middle area either. We're gonna get some sweet air off the back end of that. We'll crush that van down a little bit. Should we have to go soaring over it later, which I think we will. And that little van stack right there that I just crushed, this one right here, is the only one that I added to start. But we'll add some more stuff later, and I think this bus is all that's left. So let's make an impact on it. We did. We walked it right over top of it. That was nice. And now we got about 20 seconds left. I think we got to go big. We got to go for the big one. We got to try to fly. We got to go. Oh, we did it, too. We just kissed the top of the van. That was sweet. And now let's finish it off with a donut. You want to talk about sweet? Let's just spin one out here. Cyclone time. If I can get a cyclone going, I'm going to flip it over. There we go. Spin a Rooney's more accurate. Pretty much right as the clock expires, too. You can't beat that. Lost a body panel. Ah, tis but a scratch. I'm going to save the guy in the loader some trouble here today, and I'll just, I'll just do this the old-fashioned way here. All right. It still fires up. It still runs. I do a little bit more. Maybe we'll just rev it up and we'll take it back to the pits. I'll call that a job well done. King Crunch has warmed up the fans. We'll have 13 more trucks to come, so it's not like they're going to be getting cold anytime soon. But we got to go switch trucks. And how about for the second run of the show, we'll use a truck that is near and dear to our hearts now more than ever. Of course, this is the late, great Scott Hart Sox Gunslinger coming out to do some damage. We're going to have to launch this thing in honor of our guy. We're locked, cocked, and ready to rock, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get to it. Here, we'll whack the ambulance stack, and that's how we'll get this thing started. We will get the clock rolling with that. And for the next 90 seconds, Gunslinger is to be slinging, and that is what we shall do right over top of the bus. Totally cleared the thing and right into a wheelie. I'm going to ride all the way to the end of the stadium. Come on. That was beautiful. You're not gonna find a much better slap wheelie than that. That was textbook. And I'm gonna go over this Ford symbol and power me up right over top of the pyramid. That thing should act like a Mario, you know, that'll help you get over the stacks, those little mushroom power-ups. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I didn't play a lot of Nintendo, so you gotta help me out here in the comments below, but we need power-ups in BeamNG. That's what I just realized. As we're landing, flying over the crush cars, landing in the end of the racing lane. Those racing lane ramps count as an obstacle. I guess we got to start working those in too if we want to technically hit everything. I want to hit that van and let it know that I am indeed a 10,000 pound monster. Don't get too comfortable when you see us just go flying over top of you. We will run you down. I'm going to run down this ramp and see what happens. Absolutely nothing. All right. I did kind of come with that one backwards. Maybe we'll try the other side in a minute here. But should we try just sword it? There we go. That's the gunslinger I know. Airing it out. Here, we'll try airing it out on this ramp right here, too. Let's, why don't we? Let's see if I can clear it with a not even full throttle. Couldn't couldn't really get much of anything going there. All right, fair enough. Oh, hold on, hold on. We're going over. I lost my bumper. I, I got back on the wheels and right into a wheelie right as the clock expires again. 
that would score incredible points if I was actually keeping track of points. <laughs> we got more of a whose line is it anyway, nothing matters approach to this whole thing going on. But how about this? You guys in the comments down below, you score these runs. You keep track of them if you want to and leave it as a comment. Maybe we'll even do a straw poll. We got to go get the next truck. Let me know who wins. It sounds kind of unbelievable to say because this is only 2008, but I'm getting some sweet, sweet nostalgia hits off this era of truck show. And one of the trucks giving me the biggest one is Iron Ally. I always thought this truck looked pretty sweet. Coming out of the Bounty Hunter can was a two extreme racing. And this thing, uh, it certainly went on its fair share of wild ride. Let's try to give it another one. Let's give it some gas over the pyramid. We'll try to get some big air. That is going to do. And a nice even landing to boot. That's how you get your run begun right there. Make an impact right from the start. We'll try a little zigzag approach to our line of destruction up and over the way. If you lance a little, just a little power wheelie out of that little, little wheelie, but not much over the pyramid. Power up over the Ford logo again. We'll see what we can do. Cross thread a little over the van. Just going to send it. I'm going to bother lining it up. It will make way, and so will these crushed cars down here. We'll send it over that, too. There's another Sky Willy. Another fine addition to my collection. And so far, so good. But we got to try something over the middle here. We got to body this van. That's going to send me over into a cartwheel. And I'm blown up to boot. I have done it again. That is a time-honored tradition right there. If I don't blow up at least once in these monster truck videos, I haven't really done my job, have I? And here it is. And I've been scalped. My roof's just hanging back. That's not going to stop me from hitting the bus. I'll do it. I'll go fly right over top of it. That is awesome. It's like I got an aerodynamic something on my roof and the afterburners are on. I'm cross-threading my face off for the rest of this run because what else do I got to do? We got one more move left in us. We got to cross thread the middle here. We're going for the bus. We're flying in dive bomb and we're going back over again. And that is going to do it. No save job here with a couple of seconds left on the timer. But I don't think the fans are going to mind. I think we lift an impact. They will not soon forget. Let's get this thing back on all fours here. What a freaking mess we have made of Iron Outlaw. But it fires up. What a champ. It still starts. What a hero, because we have put this thing through hell. It is it is ugly looking, and we're going to go right on to the next one. Well, folks, it is fair to say I am very excited to get into this next truck and give it a go, because it is one of my favorites, not only from this era, but all time. One of Alan Pizzo's wonderful creations. It is Prowler. We're going to have a couple of his trucks here today, but let's start with this one. Well, I got to do a fellow Michigan man proud here. I got his truck. It looks great. It sounds great. And it's going to get over the crush cars. Great. Clears that one into a wheelie to boot. And we're going to get an off balance landing and hit that ambulance stack with the greatest of ease. It took it like a champ. We'll whip it around for this crush car stack. We'll try to clear this one. How about that? Prowler definitely a little bit underpowered compared to some of the other trucks we've been running, but that will not come across because we're going to use this thing to stomp on some cars like this. Why don't we just go ahead and just bully some vans? Beat those things down. We'll do the same thing up here. Come on, let's just run it. Walk it right over top of it. Prowling all over this course, getting down there from the big jumps. A little scary. A little squirrely. But a little slow. There we go. Knock a big dent here. We're really flattening out some of these obstacles. They're getting a little ugly. The pyramid's not, though. The pyramid's holding up well. Big flat landing right there. Did a little slap wheelie out of it. Just a tiny, tiny one. We'll try this van stack off the side a little bit. Like the looks of that. The other side of that thing is getting really crushed down. I like the looks of this bus. Why don't we try to walk it over this next? Right over the almost end over the other side of it. Almost knows it. Getting squirrely on the exit. We got to figure out what else we want to do. We want to lay down on this one one more time here with 15 seconds to go. We'll give it a little bit of air. Just breathe on it a little bit. Oh, what a what a finish here. That was beautiful. Why not? Uh, we'll run it up the racing lane one more time. We'll do a little display of power. Show them we got a little bit in there. One last wheelie as time expires. How about that? That's perfection. We're going to hit the wall here. We're going to wreck it. Almost had a disastrous ending there, but that was a pretty... Prowler-esque run, I think. I think that was fair for a truck out of the Pizzo camp. One of my favorites, too. Obviously, kind of the sister truck to the main truck, which we might see later. Because with that boy, I should have done that little jump right there during the time. That would have been cool. And we got oh, we got some two-wheel action if I don't wreck it again. 
Let's go get the next one before we do. Well, speaking of sister trucks and things like that, we've got a second chassis out of the King Crunch camp, this one being El Matador. This isn't the exact truck that would have ran at this show back in actual 2008 because they used that weird Fiesta-sponsored one, but I think this one looks way cooler, so we're going to run with this one. It's going to look sick out there, tearing it up. There we go. The bull's bucking its way out on track earlier. We got the return of our favorite tailgate, too. I was going to try to wheelie it up the pyramid, walk it up, but we'll walk it on exit instead right into the next jump. Oh, that's going to send me right on my nose. That's going to send me over. We're going to the stance. Look out. Watch out. Up on the... Oh, come on. Reverse. Drop it down on the wheels. Let's go. Save that truck all day, every day. Get it in gear. Let's get back on it. We got no time to lose. If that was a real Monster Jam broadcast, they would have cut the camera to somebody else and it, we would have never seen. But we got nothing to hide over here. Especially now. We got some body panels hanging off of this thing. The poor bull on the side is missing one of its horns, but it'll just have to make do because we're going to be cross-threading in the meantime. Because we got nothing else to lose. We're making it work. We already beat the crap out of the truck, so we might as well just fling it at everything. Hopefully at obstacles, not the wall like we did Prowler, but we're getting it done now. Gonna go for the pyramid again. Nice little combo of jumps, get some big air. We gotta figure out how to, I gotta start throwing some, some different stuff with the fans. So here we go, smashing up the front of that van will do. See if we can come at this one a little bit sideways. We'll just send it straight up, straight up like a rocket. There we go, and drop that tailgate right down there. I know our fiberglass tailgate's not there anymore, but we won't forget about it. We will remember. We got to give these people one last move to remember, and I think we got to hit the big cross thread. We got to try it. We got to hit the one up. Can we do it? We do. We get over it safe and sound right as the clock expires. That is going to do it. I'll take it. That was a nice, strong one for El Matador. I'm glad I'm not a judge because we really left Reliant Stadium something to remember us by in the form of about half of our truck that we're gonna have to go pick up and take back with us. But we'll pose for the pictures. We'll rev the engine. We'll let them look at what's left of us. We'll let them admire just long enough for us to go back and get another one. Well, speaking of my favorite trucks, this is it. Can you tell who it is? Can you guess? It's the one and only. The man from Columbus, Michigan. Team Screams flagship truck. Avenger is here. And I gotta burn it down in this truck. I remember cheering for this truck in person when I was like five, it's in my blood. We gotta do it. I mean, really, when you want me to rank my like top monster trucks, the one and two are always gonna be constant. It's gonna be Avenger and Snakebite. Those two have always held a special place in my heart as we get things going here. Unfortunately, Snakebite's not in this game. Whatever makes it in, I will probably die of a heart attack on the spot. It will be tremendous. But until then, Avenger gets top billing, and we've added some fresh obstacles out here for my boy because, of course, we did. We had to make that middle a little bit more menacing. That van was not cutting the mustard anymore. And should we give it a try? Should we see if it's makeable at least? Can we clear it? We didn't really clear it. We put some beatings on it. I saw a couple dents go on the side of that thing, but we made it over. Should we try to make it over the crush car and see if we have enough for that? This truck is actually the only one I think that I'm using today that has a three gear transmission. So I got to make sure I remember that and actually get all the uh, high end out of this thing that I can. Well, let's see. Let's really smash down on these things. Let's put a little beating on these vans. Really just mash them up. Make them regret getting hauled out here. <laughs> Not that they had much of a choice in the matter. Much like the ambulance, which we're going to get over as well. Once again, up on two wheels, twisting that suspension up. Pyramid packing the punch once again. Spin that thing around. 20 seconds left. Should we try another cross thread? See if it's still possible with the new jump. Is it good? It's all the way good. Totally. Just maybe caught a little piece of that bus, but basically cleared it backwards the other way. It may be. Oh, I don't think this is quite going to work out, and it's not. That is a very Avenger-esque wreck. Can we save it, though? No, we cannot. But once again, we're at least going to wrap it up right as time is expiring. We got it covered. That run is basically how Avenger won its last freestyle championship, really. And it's not too bad off. We just shed the trunk. Not too bad. And it still fires up. We've got life in this thing. Hey, we will drive to the next show. We'll do what they do with some of the real ones. We'll knock the roof off of it. It'll be Avenger convertible. We'll let everybody get a good look at the bare back end of this thing. Don't get too excited now. We'll go get another truck. But I think I did Avenger proud on this day. All right, we got another legend of the game coming out of the pits here. One of the staples of the era. One of the staples of monster trucking as a whole. Jimmy Creighton's bounty hunter 
from what two extreme racing coming out next and that thing is a beauty i've always loved bounty hunter too you cannot hate on bounty hunter i actually have like a random core childhood memory of like buying a bounty hunter hot wheels toy while at kmart with my great yeah, kmart ladies and gentlemen with my grandma probably 17 years ago now what a great time to be alive. Let's give somebody else a core memory here with some sick air, and I think we just did. That was monumental. We'll give a nice little beating to the band stack here and fling this thing back around. Try not to touch the concrete. We don't want to get DQ'd out here. I'm not going quite that far. I will do a little cross thread, though. We don't come down too hard on the nose. Right down on the sponsorship, the arena sponsorships. Shout out. Get your money's worth today. Flinging it down the racing lane. That thing really isn't doing anything for anybody, is it? I really got to put an obstacle on there. I should put a camper or something on there. I'm worried the camper's going to just break the game. There's a lot going on here already. We might we might really implode. We have crashed this game before, getting a little too overzealous with the add-on. So you got to watch your back here. But we're going to watch some sick air. That's 30 seconds are left. We got to let it all hang out now. Get the vans out of my way. Should we set it right back up again? Walk it up? Oh, that's a beautiful walk. Just the wheelie room we crushed the crap out of those things. Absolutely smoked. That worked way better than I thought it would in my head. I had no idea what to expect there. Now we'll just come fly it back the other way as time expires. Getting all out of shape. Should we bang something out here real quick? Time's gonna expire, but we gotta throw it into a donut or something if we don't flip it over. I think that should do it. We might actually get out of here with a truck still intact for once. Can you believe it? That's actually pretty believable for Bounty Hunter. Unless like a wheel would break off or something, they'd usually take pretty good care of that stuff. So we'll do the same. We'll actually be able to drive one back in one piece. Hopefully we can say the same about the next one. All right, everybody cleared the lane because it is time for Chris Hansen's favorite truck to come grace us with its presence. And I could not be more happy about it because it's another one of my favorites too. Definitely probably slots somewhere in the top five. This being Alan Pizzo's world famous Predator. And it will not be taking a seat anytime soon. All right, time to pray on some cars here. We're going to sling this thing around, get a little bit different approach to get this started. We're going to take a bite out of the bus. What do you say? We're walking right over top of that thing to get it rolling and right into a medium sized slap wheelie all the way across the floor. That's what you love to see. And I think I want to air it out after that. Why don't we just go for it right over top? A little uncharacteristic for Predator, but I don't care. We got to let him watch this thing. Got a little bit newer scheme than what would have run at this time too, but we don't care. We're going to cross thread this thing up the other way because this didn't work last time. We're going to make it work one of these times smashing those vans down too and still driving out of it predator making an early impression over the pyramid and we got a stack waiting for us on the back side for the combo as always we're gonna send this one into stands again if we're not careful and there we go just bonk the head right there no big deal perfect for predator can we work this into a reverse move can we get it up here in reverse is the real quick oh we're just gonna glide it with the greatest of ease up there simple yet effective and with 30 seconds left we can't be fooled around we got to get this thing what uh, we had a pretty good run so far how do we get this to go even better do like a perfect super cross level jump there that didn't exactly go how i planned it but we'll work with what we get that's gonna hurt the tailgate that's gonna be a spine check my window is falling out i'm gonna get hit in the face with dirt this windshield is gonna be very helpful oh, there goes my uh, there goes my face i just ran it over we are gonna have one hell of a fiberglass build now and that is pretty much gonna do it. We'll let the clock expire. We'll drive one out. This was not the body to be tearing up. Oh man. Well, bad news for our next contestant here. Somebody stole your gimmick. We already had like two trucks just about fly into the stands today. So we don't really need you to do it now. And if I were you, I'd be mad. I'd be, I, that's gimmick infringement in the wrestling world. I'd be in court, I'd be suing. But instead we're gonna be slinging this Willie's all around the track. And we're gonna try to keep it inside the park for pity's sake. Have we ever space forced a monster truck before though? Because this would be the perfect candidate for it. We might have to just try it right here. Try something a little different to open this thing up. And get us on the clock. <laughs> Mounts that thing on each back wheel there. We'll just try everything, hitting everything at weird angles. Why not? That ambulance is not gonna be doing any rescuing and we might need it too. I don't trust Captain's cars for a minute. 
This thing, this could go flying off the handle at any minute. Who was even driving it that day? Was it Pablo Huffaker? I feel like it was. He was always behind the wheel of these awesome, like, race source chassis trucks. So I'm going to assume it was him. And we'll try to channel some of his energy here for the rest of this run. Because it's, it's going good so far. We got good mo. We're going to get the pyramid. Get some big air there. We're going to totally clear it over that Ford logo. Not even going to dream about touching it. And then this one, it probably wouldn't do us any good in the willies. Nice little sky wheelie again. Can we walk it into a wheelie right up the ramp, maybe? All right, we have a super wheelie going over this thing. We're all out of shape and gathering it up. And getting this thing spun around. That's how you make an impact here. What can we do with the bus? Get an all kind of weird wacky run at the bus. What kept it together? All right, 20 seconds left. Might as well just keep trying weird hits. It keeps working. We'll try this little crush car hanging off the side that's going to act as a backflip ramp. And we're going to land it. That might be the greatest thing ever. Some crush car we just shoved off to the side is going to give us the most beautiful move of the day. And we'll ride it out with some donuts as the clock comes down to zero. What a run. That's what I meant by you can't trust Captain's Curse. It'll just come out of nowhere and bust a backflip. Like years before anybody was really doing, I don't know, they were, maybe they were just starting to do backflips around 2008. It might have been the next couple of years, but come on, Captain, we got to get you back to the pits. Well, that Ford logo on the floor out there is about to get a lot more fitting with our next truck being the built Ford Tough Blue Thunder, another one of my favorites. We even got the old school one, a little bit newer of a model than what would have run in 2008, but all the same, still a badass automobile. There's the power up and there's the pyramid getting pounded. I'm sure we'll keep these flags flapping throughout most of this run here if we can help, but it shouldn't be too hard to do. And there's something about a good dual flag setup that really gets my heart pounding, along with some monster air, of course, and some crushing combos right over the cars. As these flags are flapping around doing all kinds of crazy things. We gotta make a little thunder though. Let's make a little noise over the middle. Why don't we go for the big one? Hit a nice one right over the middle, and we land it as clean as you can. Ford getting their sponsorship dollars in, and it's paying off right now. I'll tell you that much. The corporate sponsors back in Detroit are going to be very happy about this. That's what we should have done this. Should be doing this inside of Ford Field. We could at some point. That does exist in Beam, but we got about half a run left still. We got to focus on what's important, like airing it out over the pyramid and comboing it right into the next stack. We're just turning it. I mean, it's not even much of a stack anymore. It's just kind of a, a speed bump in the bus. And forget about it. Cleared it entirely. We're going to slap it down for the wheelie. We're looking great out here with 25 seconds left to go for Blue Thunder. And I think this is about where we got to start trying something different. Let's crawl it over the pyramid here. And we got to try something on the side with this crushed car here. I'll just gas it up. We're going for another backflip just about. And we're just about going to land it, too, and our hood's getting caught up on our wheel. What in the heck? It finally frees itself, and now i got to try to answer that. What do we do? We just got to smash something into another backflip. That's actually going to work off the bus. How did that happen? That was not supposed to be a success. Blue Thunder, you absolute beast. we got to give him something here. we got to give him a little donut on the way out. Who would have thought that that little crushed car add-on to the side of that middle ramp would be oh so rewarding. Well, as we get down to our final four trucks in the lineup, Taz is up next, and Taz has quite a reputation around here. Last time we used Taz, we ended the run with only two tires on the truck. So prepare yourself, because this could go a lot of different ways, and I think we're just gonna tear it down like only a Tasmanian devil can, but not before we pump up the crowd a little bit. We're almost through this show, people. I've been going at this for so long, I'm starting to get delirious. So let's just try to convey the craziness on the track. Just gonna send it super high, super uneven, a little squirrely on the landing, but gathered up. Tasmanian Devil gonna be a lot of unorthodox hits like that one right there. The bus looking like another prime candidate, and it sure is. We're gonna be lucky not to break something on this run, but you know what? That's kind of what Taz does. That's kind of what we do here. We might rip the whole body off. We might rip all four wheels off this freaking time. Let's try what the pyramid can do. Let's try walking it over here. Oh, I got caught on the car. Dude, that thing almost ate me alive. That could have been really terrible. We're hitting wheelies over stacks now. Let's see, we got to switch things up with Taz. We got to do stuff different. As you can see, we even got a fresh RV out here that we're going to have to work with in a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't absolutely implode my game. 
because it's been known to do so in the past. So as we space force ourselves over the little van stack, we gotta do it. We gotta do a little R&D on the RV. Let's go smashing right through it. Put it down, put it in three pieces. Now we gotta air it out. Let's just go cross thread. Perfect ramp to ramp. You couldn't do it any smoother if you tried. With like 20 seconds left, I'm in these vans again. I don't even care. I'm gonna ride this wheelie all the way to the bus so I can help it. Come on, bus. Oh my god, we got launched. We're going end over end. Gather it up. Gather it up. No, no, no. Write it out. Oh, we almost wrote it out. That is a perfect Taz finish right there. We're gonna have about five seconds left on the clock from where we stopped. What a run. Come on, buddy. Get back on your feet. We ripped all the ears off. The face is gone. This is a sad scene for Taz, but does it start? It does indeed. Is that even a question? They build these things stronger than death, literally. And look at my face just laying on the ground over here. I'm gonna run it over or try to at least. Come on now, come on, there we go. I was about to have a problem with that. We can't even get over our own hood. Now I gotta have some kind of win out here. Well, huge air should be absolutely no problem for this next truck. The good old US Air Force afterburner is up next in that big blue Cadillac body that we are about to go send. Flying with another set of dual flags on the back. You know that's what we love to see. So let's see how this goes, because this truck is truly another staple of the era. We slam these vans here to start. These things are taking a beating from all angles at this point. No love for the vans. We'll save that camper that we reset here for a minute, because I figured out those are breaking my replays, but they're not actually crashing the game, so. There are some casualties out here. And all that means is I can't get crazy shots of me doing stuff like this later on, but that's okay. That's all right. We will make do with what we got and hopefully not roll it over on the concrete, which we almost just did. Instead, we'll power past the pyramid yet again and maybe combo it up. Should we try a little two-wheel stuff over here? I think we should. That didn't really go anywhere, but I like it. I like switching it up. Although I also like hitting the classic set of crush cars and just sailing it over it and then sailing it into a big old wheelie out of nowhere, out of the exit of that thing. That was nice. Held on to it for a little while, didn't hit the wall. How about we hit the racing lane here? Just show them a little power, show them a little bit of what the Air Force is all about. And it would probably be a little bit more effective if we did it over here. So why don't we? Why don't we take this camper down for all the armed forces out there? I'm not much of a military guy. I don't really come from like a military family, but I know the Air Force is apparently the one to be in. If you got the brain power, which I don't, by the way, I'm doing these hits right now, as you can see. Hit them all. Hit them all with the cross straight. Hit the huge air. 10 seconds left. How do we finish this off strong? We gotta do something. We gotta fly high for the people of the Air Force. Come on, there we go. That's some monster air to finish that one off with double zeros. I gotta do one of those over the middle. I don't care if the clock just expired. Matter of fact, you know what we gotta do? We gotta do one more send for the people of the Space Force. Let's do it to them. Can we hit a little end? Oh my God, my truck. Holy crap, we killed it. After time expired too. Why did we do the coolest move of the run after the clock ran out? Come on, Air Force. We're going to get a medal or something for this thing if we can try this out of here. I don't think we're going to be able to, though. <laughs> the whole front end is hanging on by a thread. This is not good. That was, that was worth it, though. Worth every penny. That was priceless. Well, two trucks are left and take a wild guess what they're gonna be. It won't be too hard to guess this one because you're looking right at it. Maximum Destruction is on a mission to make it into the stadium. And judging by the way things are going, that might be hard in itself at this point. We don't know. But we do know that Maximum Destruction lives up to its name the overwhelming majority of the time. So let's get to it. More times than I can even count. I've seen Tom Mintz have to tear it down from this position in the show and that is exactly what we're gonna do if we can keep it inside the stadium here is we're almost going over on the concrete again. Let's keep it on the dirt. Let's keep it on the surface and let's keep it all the way in the air. Huge air, huge hang time. And we're going right back to the concrete. I would be getting shut off for days out here if this was the real USHRA out here, but well, thankfully it is not. And the USHRA got it, they're the dust at this point. Who even knows? Just like my spine's gonna be after we make some of these landings because we are hitting these things hard and weird, and that's about all we can do now. Let's just fly at them. Fling the truck. In fact, I believe it was Kurt Busch who once said that he was gonna get flung like a booger, and that's pretty much my game plan out here as well. And we're gonna prove it right now with a little bit of cross thread. We're gonna get just over that bus, keep it on all four wheels, and we lost the wheel. Man down. We have maximized 
our destruction, our own destruction. Can I even get up from this? I need that little button for old people that says, help, I've fallen and I can't get up. What the hell? Is, why, why can't I think of the name of that thing? Life alert. Somebody give me a life alert right now. We're going to life alert on this thing. Can I get up here with three wheels? Oh my God, we can't forget the life alert. I'm good. I might be better with three wheels than I was with four somehow. We're going to be better at a donut. I know that for sure as the clock's running out on my life here. That is going to do it. Oh, maximum destruction. I almost feel like I let you down in a way. We shedding that wheel off. Kind of neutered the end of our run, so we'll just ride that <laughs> until we can't see straight anymore. Uh, we even got a split right down the head of the destruction mascot in the back of the truck, and I can't, I'm crashing into the stadium walls out here. This is getting all bad. This is getting worse by the second here. We better go grab that last truck. Who could it be, folks? Who could it have ever possibly been? Besides the icon, there is only one way to finish these shows off. And that's by bringing out the biggest, baddest one of them all. Gravedigger is on the scene. I promise you one thing. Well, next time we do one of these, I won't end with Gravedigger, but it's just too easy to do. It's too cheap of a bop. All right, let's do it for Dennis. Air it out. Let's be a menace for Dennis and do this thing right. We'll end the show the only way I know how. Maybe we'll even do a little encore afterwards. We can keep all four wheels on the wagon which hitting big air is not going to be the way to do that, but we got to do what we got to do. We have to do something here. The icon is in the building. I'm going to try to even mimic some of that Anderson throttle control. We're going to try to get, though. I couldn't even get four wheels up the ramp here. We're about wrecking, hitting simple moves, but that's okay. I want, you know what? Let's line it up for some crush guys. Let's keep it simple. Let's just air it out again. Let that Jolly Roger flap in the wind. Keep it off the concrete so... I don't flip this thing over in the dumbest way possible. Should we try a cross thread? Should we try coast to coast, ramp to ramp? We're going to totally clear the bus. Not even a question. Come on. A hidden huge moves out here with half a run to go still. Let's whack the ambulance again. That thing's going to need its own ambulance called to the scene after the show it's been through. Let's let's bring this baby back. Let's try our little, let's try something right here. We didn't get anything off that car. That car did nothing for me. This went sailing off into the sunset, but that's fair. That's all right. 20 seconds left. We got to finish strong. We got to just sail this thing at some stuff and see what happens now. Yo, we got an RV over here. We got a camper still standing. We got to end it with that. That might be the perfect bow on this run. We'll be seeing you. Now, will this rip a wheel off me? No, it won't. We ripped that thing apart, and that is where the double zeros will arrive. Maybe one last hit in well after the clock. But we got an encore on our hands. Unless we roll it right here, we almost did. Oh, my God. I just saw my life flash before my freaking eyes. I was talking such a big game about an encore, we almost wrapped it up immediately. But now we got some time to burn it down. We'll cause some chaos here. This is not for a score. This is just for all the freaks out there that want to see something get absolutely wrecked like I do. Which is okay. It's perfectly medically healthy and normal. See if we can try this again. I gotta get something working on this. There we go. Said to take it a little bit slower. We knocked that crush car back into the position a little bit too. Let's see. See if that thing just falls right on down. I don't know if it's going to stay up there anymore, but we won't worry about that. We'll hit that pyramid smash. That thing down. We're going to get all turned around. We're going to maybe lose the truck. Can we save it? Gas it back onto the wheels. I haven't been doing too much of that because it's not really error appropriate, but that is a fine note to end it on. Let's park it right up here and let the people take the pictures. Get a good look at a hoodless grave digger that just put on a hell of an encore and one hell of a show all together here in Houston, which is now in the history books. How about it, folks? How'd you do it? Get your scores in the comments below. I'm definitely going to need some help with this one because I can't even begin to tell you who won or who was the leader or who scored what, but I know some of you kept track of that, I'm sure. So let me know down below who you thought got it done and put on the best show here today and while you do that that's about where we're gonna wrap it up here folks thank you all so much for watching i had a lot of fun putting this one together if you liked it you want to see more videos like this let me know down in the comments below we'll be doing a lot more beam monster stuff in the future in all different styles so stay tuned subscribe for more hit that like button i love you all i'll see you all in the next one Peace.